Oh no, I've got the Hollywood glow. Good afternoon, um, Thursday the 30th of April. It's the noonday movement snack. And um, if this is the one you're looking for, please stay. If you're watching on Catch Up After and you are looking for a different date, scroll back. Um, if not, stay here for the time being. I'm going to say hello and welcome to our noon day movement snackers. Uh, and Norway. Norway is first in the door today. Greta, lovely to see you. Norway, followed by Gospel, followed by the Elliot Collective, Scotland, Korean Larrick, Wales. I think, um, Greta, I think that was your, this is your first movement snack and you're first in all the way from Norway. Fantastic. Good to see you. I've got my, <laughs> got my Hollywood glow again today. I'm opposite the window. A lighting issue, but we'll get through it. Uh, who else is in? Somerset is in. Chris Wales. Um, Carol from Hove. Hello. Okay. Let's go for um, weather reports or crowbar reports. Anything crowbarred in this morning? I crowbarred in a windy walk. Um, couldn't see any video opportunities though. Uh, okay, Jane's looking forward to this one. She's doing this one with her weights, which she's used to using. Okay, extra resistance. Nice. Hello, Kathy. Come on in. About two minute countdown, and then we get going with the snack. <clears throat> Anything else to report this morning? Any Zooming? Any other remote exercise sessions going on? Burry Port is in. Hello, Sally. Uh, delighted to read that some of you are printing off your uh, Movement Snack Awards. I didn't expect that, but that's nice. Um, Steve's uh, reporting on some cygnets on the Brooklands Lake this morning. Um, I saw a swan on the road this morning and they, this swan caused chaos because the cars had to stop to to shoo him off the main road. Anyway, that's swans and cygnets done. We've done the swan report. Uh, Angela's been walking with the wolf. Thirty second countdown. I think then we're we're gonna go. So just before we we kind of bring the preamble to a conclusion. Remember, we're in the business of accumulating additional movement minutes over and above anything else you're doing. We've called the movement snacks so that we can learn and feel how we can optimize movement in these snacks and then deploy them into all your other activities of daily living. Um, Maddie's in various comments going on and I'm struggling to read because of this light in my face. So let's get on without further ado. Uh, a Vivian Bolton's printed off her award certificate and it's uh, on the wall alongside all the menus. That's, that's just great to read. Right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Good afternoon. My name is Bex Townley. You're here on Thursday the 30th of April for the Noonday Movement Snack. Let's get going on an additional 10 minutes of movement in the benefits bag. Pick your positions, sit or stand, have a look at the movement and then decide if you want to do that in seated or in stand. We're going to revisit the three, the double trio of yesterday. OK, uh, so there'll, there'll be some choices to be had in this movement snack. Let's make a start. 
<clears throat> Pick your position in sit or in stand. And we're going to start with our one minute ish of circulation boosting. So if you're in stand, take up some support and start to march, start to walk just on the spot here, picking up the knees even and steady. Just continue with that for a moment. The seated option is the same, either starting with the feet or with the arms, or both together, whichever you're happy with. Once we're both moving in sit or stand, then we go through the checks. They are lift and lengthen from the centre, Optimise this strong support from the posture, open up from the chest so we've got this strong and solid supporting structure from the centre. Then we're thinking about ankles, feet and toes. Slow this down a little bit and try to really articulate the feet, ankles and toes. Make the most of this movement. So we're, we're generating this, this march from the floor. The knees are fairly low. and. I'm boosting the circulation, that's why we're doing this, with an arm, alternating if you want to keep using the support, or together. All on lifted and open posture. Last few seconds on this, a couple more reminders and sit and stand. It could just be arms only, we can bring the hands together if you want to guide that elbow through. You may want to take toe taps on that or you may feel comfortable with the full arm and leg march. All right, take a pause. So that's the minute, or minute-ish of circulation boosting. And we do this at the start of every movement snack. And as I say, it just serves to boost the circulation, get the blood flowing and the oxygen to all the working parts. Here we go with the snack. I've got two trios for you, two little bite-sized trios of movements. So the first trio comprises three movements. Here's the first one. It's foot pedals. So in standing, similar to our circulation boost, but the feet don't leave the floor. I just pick up the heels and I'm trying to trying to really articulate the foot so I'm leaving the balls of my feet behind. So it becomes uh, more of a mobility, but also I'm starting to squeeze the muscles in the back of my calves. With support or without, I don't want it to challenge your balance, I just want you to literally find your feet. Continue with those in stand. Seated options are the same, bring the feet back a little bit and we can lift the heels one, and then the other. If feet are not an option, rehearsing the hip walking out and back into the chair, forwards and back. Take a pause. That's the first movement from the first trio. Here's the second movement, reaching arms, have a look. If you're steady and stable in standing and you don't need support, we can go straight into that from this position, or you may want to just rest the hips here on the sideboard, or you may want to use a wall, or you may want to sit down. Here's the movement. It's pressed down and to the front. Um, but here I want it to be really specific. So really tall and lifted, strong through the legs. And it's as if you're, you're kind of pressing an invisible resistance. So we've got some, some tension in that also. And really specific about the, the wrist position here. So I'm pushing forwards and down, but standing taller. And you can really create your own resistance a little bit with that. Exactly the same in seated. Lift, 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 high out of the hips, and it's here. Now this alternating movement is a coordination move as well. And if you want to, bit by bit, can you see, you can slowly start to creep that a little bit higher. Directly relates to all of our activities of daily living that requires reaching above. But you can just keep it to a range of movement that's comfortable for you. Take up support if you need. Don't want balance challenge at this point. Just really specific, strong moves. Okay, have a release. 
The third one of this first trio is around the clock. Now this wheel, this is designed to get us to transfer weight, may challenge balance, so pick up some side support for this. Around the clock as it suggests, technically half a clock, the outside leg to the support, okay? Um, we're just gonna go to 12 o'clock, return back to the center. We're gonna go to three o'clock, return back to center. And then to the rear to six o'clock. And we're being really specific about foot placement. None of these movements are designed to move us fast with pace. None of them are designed to really get some effort going in the heart and lungs. It's all about thinking about foot placement, postures and positioning to optimise movement. Of course, we need to do the other leg. So, return it here. There, 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 there. So, continue with that. That's around the clock. That's the standing option. Keep going on that. Seated options, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar from yesterday, we either repeat just the 12 o'clock, the 3 o'clock, the 12 o'clock, and the 9 o'clock, or we can take all of that round the clock work on a functional reach with arms. Lifting, anchoring from the buttocks, and using our clock face from the arms. Okay, take a pause, have a breath have a little release. All of these movements require really strong postures from the center. And these, these muscles get tired also. So it's all the muscles at the front and at the back and at the top and at the bottom. This whole block here, this unit is working for us. So if you start to feel tired, go with it, have a, have a, a period of recovery and then go again. Here's the second trio. See if you prefer, see if you fancy this one. Uh, the first movement of this trio is knee bend and reach. Have a look. Weight even, we have the knee bend and the stand. Finish off the job, come up tall. So really strong, really confident here. And if you feel you can, go for the reach also. On the upward reach, the arms slightly forward. Uh, if shoulders don't enjoy being up that high, we can reach here and we can alternate on that. Now, for the experienced movement snackers amongst you, you may be dying a crowbar in a heel raise with that. Of course, feel free. Feel free to feel free to crowbar in that. That's the standing option. Keep going with some of, <coughs> some of those. Crowbar some more of those in while I just show the seated alternatives. Here we either have uh, the, a, a little jockey lift, so a little push down on the buttocks off the chair, here, just to, to get the muscles here all uh, working for us to, to get out of chair, or you may want to just go for the, the glute squeeze, the buttock squeeze, contracting those buttock muscles, along with a high reach as you go. That's your seated options. Second movement of this trio is sideways stepping. Keeping use of support, we're aiming for a longer step, so we're really starting to use the ankles and feet that we've been looking for. With support, if that's gonna help with confidence and posture, without if you're happy to, and for those of you that are dying to crowbar in some extras, we can add that almost becomes a wide knee bend. Your other alternative is to step over, replicate stepping over objects. That's the other one. Keep going with that in stand. Take your time on those, slow it down, be deliberate with the foot placement. The seated alternatives on that are the same, either a sideways step, focusing on foot to fall like so, from there to there, so we're still getting the, the hip work coming in from that, or we return to the hip walking in and out, so we're still targeting the hips. The last one of this trio is the wall press. So we're bringing in, we're building on those arm movements that we had in the first trio, 
consider that the, the warm up, if you like, or the preparation. Now we've got some options on push. So these are all of the functional press activities from daily life. Out of chair, out of the bath, off the floor, out the garden, pushing heavy stuff. The options are the wall press, here. Or we can take that to a lower object and here, so we can start to get a little bit more load through there. Or, and if you have the right kind of chair with steady, stable uh, arms, we can combine a bit of a jockey lift and a bit of a press. So we're starting to do this pressing action. When you rehearse this, tuck the elbows in. Tuck them in so we want to be working from here. Okay. Those are the two trios. Which one did you prefer? The aim now, the goal now, is to take one of those trios and crowbar, crowbar the little set in every hour if you can between now and four o'clock. So one, two, three. That could be three sets of one of those trios. Or it's a pick and mix. Now I posted those two trios yesterday on the page so you can you can see what they are so all of these movements i hope you can see and feel directly relate to the all of the functional activities we do in daily life it's just that in these little 10 minute 12 minute snacks we can be more mindful of how we move we can feel steady safe and secure so that perhaps we can reach a little bit more further or bend a little bit more than we ordinarily would deploy your trios everyone and report back at four o'clock thank you very much see you then